Greetings everyone and welcome back to Mega Aquarium, where in today's episode we're going to be beginning the fifth map, Napalos, convert an abandoned theatre into an aquarium. I think that sounds quite good. We will probably have some, well actually I was going to say we're going to have lots of space. Uh, I'm not entirely sure about that though. Welcome to Napalos. This theatre has fallen into disuse. You are going to convert it into a successful aquarium. This is your opportunity to demonstrate everything you've learned so far, and, it, and it's time to build an aquarium of your own design. The only conditions of success are that you must reach rank 7 and obtain a minimum number of different animal species. You will have opportunities to complete optional objectives as you grow. It's up to you whether you accept these, but you may find it easier to succeed if you do. Good luck. Okay, well let's have a look. Reach rank 7. We're currently at rank... I'm not sure. Uh, earn a certain amount, 21 different species. We got anything already? No, we do not. Well, this quite an interesting little location, I think. We're gonna have some fun here. We've got some really nice seating. Oh my lord. That is very swanky. Makes sense though, obviously, being a theatre. Alright, well, what kind of tanks do we have to start with? We've got a Belfast tank, okay. Got some deep corner tanks. I quite like the deep tanks. What kind of fish do we already have? Uh, okay, we're starting off with fairly, fairly simple. Ooh, we've got uh, fuzzy dwarf lionfish. Nice. Uh, we've got one cold water fish. All right, well, that's not not enough to uh, make a, an entire display out of, but uh, I'm sure we can do something. I would like to get a three by three tank over here if I can, along with some room in behind it. There we go, we'll set that out right now. There we go. So, first a corner tank. Nice big 3x3. Three three. Will be lovely. There we go. And uh, we'll get a staff door right about here. Yeah. Ah, wait, we've made a basic corner tank. Man, my bad. A bit of a waste of money there, I know, I know. I was thinking, why, why am I being given the option? to adjust the size here, because that, that surely it should be enormous to start with, but uh, no, there we are. All right, we'll move one of these walls across, and in fact, for the time being, let's just wall this whole area off until we're ready to make use of the rest of the area behind here. That'll be fine, I think. There we go. All right, what I would like down here is a nice big old uh, area for my staff to get up, and at the back... We can even expand this out a little bit further, I believe. Yeah. That'll give us plenty of room to get some fish in this tank. So, what are we going to do? Are we going to go with just one type of fish in each tank? I don't think so. Not this time. I think we're going to try and keep as diverse a selection of fish in each tank as we can. How about some reef squirrel fish and some half and half chromis? Uh, that should be quite nice. They've got fairly low requirements. And they're both shoulders, so we'll get a decent amount in there, and they both eat the same type of food. Okay, so one, two, three, and four. Let's grab one, two, three, and four. There we go. Now, we're going to need to get this tank warmed up a little bit. Let's get ourselves a nice big old heater over there. Now, I've been told that there may be a, a more interesting way to use the uh, the pumps here. We're gonna give it a try. I'll hook that up for now, but we'll we'll see. I could add a nice big old heater here. This one doesn't actually take that much heating. Um, in fact, we could easily get away with these first two tanks being fairly low low spec. I mean, it depends a little bit, but one thing that we could do, I'm told, is if we have the tanks in a daisy chain, they'll actually all cycle the water from each other. So that if we have one pump that's connected to two tanks with heaters and another pump that's connected to one of those two tanks and another tank with just pure filters, between the three tanks, they'll daisy chain all of the heat and the filtration. Now, that is something I definitely want to look into. So we're going to we'll start off small, though, and we'll just pop in the heater and then we'll pop in a Do we have the combi skimmer. No. Okay, so large filter it is then. Pump. There we go. This is a lovely, nice tank here for you. Do we have any caves down there? We do not, by the looks of it. That is a bit of a shame, but that's okay. 
We could always grab this ancient gate and pop it in there. Um, no, let's let's keep that for something else. I think let's uh, grab this though. We'll definitely have a little anchor. I think right about there, and we'll get you a nice big cave system. Uh, we could go with that. It's very expensive. It can only be put in a deep tank, but. It would do everything we need and give it a little bit more, but we'd get the same amount of prestige just from having this in there. Uh, no, we'll go with this one, I think. There we are, that's quite nice. And let's pop a little bit of greenery in there as well. Maybe just some eel grass. Oh, actually, no, no. I think the eel grass will be a little bit too much. Let's have some kelp instead. There we are. Lovely. Now, what we're going to want in here is access to some food. And right now, we could easily have that access just, just right there if we particularly wanted to. Uh, I think I would prefer to have a little bit more space. Perhaps we could have a wall there and then the food could just be kind of snuck in behind it. But let's expand out a little bit further in this direction for now. Something like that. And then we'll pop down some food. And, of course, a toolbox as well. There we go. That's all we're going to need there. That's a nice little tank there, I feel. Uh, it's quite quite small. We've got a fair chunk more room, so let's go ahead and add uh, a couple more fish. There we are. I think that would be all we're going to really need to pop in there. I think that, that'll look lovely. Now, we're going to get a second tank over here. We can easily afford it. So we're going to get rid of that. And go for just a, a regular... Well, no, we want it to be a deep tank. I, do, I just do prefer the deep tanks. Regular deep tank right there. Pump. And now we can hook, uh, hook all of this up to that filter. There we go. Now we want similarly fed fish. Similar sort of requirements. Can we put in anywhere with grammars or Antheus or dotty back? So we can't have the royal grammar in there. Coral grouper. No, you need a different sort of food. I would prefer if we could get something... Hmm. Actually, you would have been better with the half and half chromis because of that. Well, that being said then, let's just go ahead and change this up. We can easily move the half and half chromis over here. Since they don't require the... Uh, oh, they don't require any of the uh, rocks or anything like that. I think that would be fine. Go. Let's get all of you in there. There we are. Right, okay, so this one currently not hooked up to the filter because unfortunately we moved it. There we go. All sorted. Right. Now with you, let's close all of these though. Now we just don't want to have the you should be okay if I pop them in here. So we've got Ah, but now now you see is where we would actually like. We've got two. Hmm. I mean, it seems that my earlier attempt to save money was, in fact, a mistake. Let's go with this, because it gives four. There we go. This is going to be quite a nice little tank, actually. I'm going to go and grab a couple of you, then. You should be okay. Well, actually, do you mind yourself? Ah. That's a good point. It might not like itself. We'll, we'll see. Do they mind? Yeah, they're not happy with each other. Okay, well, that's uh, good to know. Very good to know, actually. Well, given that, then, I guess we could just fill her up with a couple more squirrel fish. Well, we'll just fill that up to about there. And that should be okay. And over here, we will have the royal grammars in there as well. This will give us a little bit of science coming in. Let's open that one up properly. In fact, uh, sure, we'll get another two. There we are. Lovely. Perfect, in fact. Do we have any crustaceans? We don't at the moment. But maybe we'll be able to get some later on, which would be quite nice. We've got coral beauties as well, but uh, I want to try and keep this little area sim simply because it's so easy to feed these guys that we'll uh, just keep it nice and simple in there. 
Let's go for a little bit of decoration. Maybe something like that. Along with something like this down the front. And maybe some shells. I think we've already got some shells though, so we'll just go and grab one of those. Something like that. And maybe a barrel at the back as well. There we go. That'll look lovely, I think. Now then, as for guests, we do not have access to any of the um, information kiosks or anything like that, which is a bit of a shame, but okay. Uh, we can pop up in there, I think. It's in a nice, convenient spot. We can then add in, for example, a fizzy drinks machine. Right about there. We can likewise pop a couple of these up there. Turn them around. Ah, these are not as convenient in terms of the amount of seating they provide. Good to know. Alright. There we are. That's enough to, to get the aquarium open, at least. Uh, so let's grab one person. We only need someone who can do a little bit of feeding. Uh, but I would like someone who can do feeding and fixing. We can get someone who can do feeding, fixing, and cleaning. Talking? What? No idea what that is, but uh, it doesn't look like we can get anyone who's got feeding, fixing, and cleaning. Alright, just feeding and fixing will do that. There you go. And click to open. There we go. Crack on and get all of that sorted. I'm going to need a some toilets for the guests, as well as some food as well. Uh, large chiller, double filter, that would be nice. I think we're going to go for the guide a book shelf myself, though. There we go, that'll be nice and easy. Right, we're at uh, level 6. To get up to the next stage is going to take 1,000. It's not actually going to be too hard for us to achieve. Wow, coffee machine? Small tunnel tank, that sounds awesome. Deep outcrop tank. Those actually look pretty amazing. Right, okay, so what can we grab? You get the common starfish. Get some different corals. Uh, some more cold water species would actually be very, very much uh, uh, appreciated. So the Balan Ras. The Ras is both intelligent and sociable. With younger Balans cleaning lice from old other fish. Balan Ras have an additional set of teeth in their throat for crushing mollusk shells. Very well. Sounds awesome. Let's get you on the way. And now then, in terms of where we want the next couple of tanks to be, perhaps we could even have some in there, maybe a little seating area down here. Um, yeah, sure, I, I don't mind the idea of having a little seating area, so let's pause things right there. I'm going to move things up for now. So let's get a wee seating area just at the back here where we can have a couple of seats just facing forward and maybe even a little area at the back here. This will be a very specific seating area. There we go. This way we can move the bin down here. That can sit right there. Let's move these seats out of the way. I would like the seats to be just on the side there. Well, it's a little bit tight, though, I guess. Mm. Yeah, let's move this back a tad so that we've got a little bit more room for our guests to move around in. And also, people can still uh, see out there. This will give us some additional options as well in terms of placing confection and the like. So we'll have the um, drinks machine down there. We will pop in a chocolate machine. There we go. And we are then going to get rid of these so that my guests can actually access this area. There we are. And these benches can go elsewhere for now. There we are. So, with that done, we can also pop in the lavatory. The lavatory can be just facing out in this direction. I think that should be okay. One there, and then another one on this side. Yep, that should be able to call to anyone who happens to need it. Perfect. I think that's more than good enough. 
Now, the only thing with this is if I didn't have that there, I could, in fact, have a large um, tank at the back there. The deep tanks, they're difficult to manage, but I could... Hmm, we could do something like that if I really wanted to. Uh, could I have perhaps just a really long deep tank? I could have just a really long deep tank, thinking about it. Okay, let's uh, address this idea once again. Have the Prince Machines just facing up like so. And we'll just move these along a little bit like that. There we are. Not exactly the place I would want my uh, my lavatories right next to the food, but uh, maybe I'll just adjust these slightly. Have the drinks machines a little bit higher up. <laughs> Likewise, though, having the seats right next to it, not exactly the best thing in the universe either, but eh, uh, I'm sure they'll, they'll forgive me in time. All right, let's move some of these down here as well and get ready for a nice long um, tank down here. Now, how long we can make this tank, I'm not entirely sure, but we'll find out. So deep wall tank, we can make it really, really quite large. Wow, okay. That's pretty solid. Um, no, we won't go, we won't go the full size. That is more than good enough for us. Uh, in fact, let's get rid of this wall, shunt that over there, and I would like a staff door right here. There we go. And this will give access to this rather enormous tank that we're going to be able to put some pretty cool fish in, I imagine. Let's get a little uh, ramp going up to it. Now, obviously, if we were to have a second tank over there, then we'd, we would work on that. Maybe even this one could be for some more corals or something. Or perhaps... Yeah, we've got a, another cold water fish on the way, so... The Atlantic Pollock does take an awful lot of room. That being said, we could put in some lionfish. Cannot be housed with any non-lionfish or scorpionfish. Alright. Um, the cowfish. I mean, this could be for... They both eat mussels. It's unfortunate we can't we can't have you in there. As they wouldn't... They wouldn't welcome you, I'm afraid. And it does make me sad to say that, but... Oh, well. We're going to need heat. We're going to need... Quite high filtration as well, actually. But here's where we can possibly test out the theory on the pump. So let's try and get a large pump that can reach across. Something about there should do. Now let's see. If I connect it up there and then connect this across here, will this tank effectively have it? Yeah, yes, it will. Well, that is very interesting. Each of these tanks now doesn't have quite enough heat, but this one is getting it as well. And all of the tanks effectively need... Well, that is actually pretty awesome. I like it. Now, the reason why that heat requirement has gone up is because the um, the the least amount... All of the tanks are sharing the same water. So if this one needs uh, 144 heat, then all tanks effectively have to be at 144 heat for it to work. Oh, well, given that then, we're moving this down hither. And we're also going to pop down the large protein skimmer as well. There we go. That should uh, keep these tanks at a decent quality, I would say. But that's a really, really cool method of doing it. I like that a lot, actually. I'm going to pop in another large filter because I've got a funny feeling this is going to be very difficult to uh, achieve. Uh, that's got 30, uh, 80, sorry. That one's got 80. They've all got 80. Mm. When we introduce these fish, it's going to make it a little bit hard to keep this tank going, but we'll we'll see. We'll see what we can do. So we want the um you're gonna be up to eleven. We've got a tank size of 72. Let's pop in. Let's decide how we're gonna spread this out. We could get up to 55 there. 60. Yeah, we can have three fuzzy dwarf and five uh Voltanis lionfish. Or Four Voltanis lionfish and five fuzzy dwarf. I mean, I'm not 
against this idea. Let's uh, let's go for the lionfish first. Two, three. We can pop the last one in there as well. It is going to take a fantastic amount of filtering, though. At that point, now when we drop you in there, it's going to become a little bit more tricky. But let's pop in the caves that we're going to need first and foremost. So we're going to want something like this down on that side with another cave over on that side. So it would be very, very nice. I guess for now we could get away with just putting another large skimmer in there. Oh, it just brings it up, mind you. This is a very, very hungry tank when it comes to... Uh... So I don't know what the uh, whether it would be sensible to try and have all of these tanks hooked up together. Uh, that's, that's a little bit uh, sketchy, honestly. I'm not sure. But we'll see what we can do. Let's uh, get these, these guys in there. Well, that's not too bad. Could we squeeze... Well, if we squeeze the last one, it's gonna it's going to make things a little bit more tricky. Well, let's go ahead and pop in some rocks. Oh, no, no, let's not pop rocks in there. That looks a little bit too ugly. Put in some nice big kelp there. Ooh, not enough money. Okay, well, fair enough. Uh, can we at least get the food? No. Well, dread. Let us hope that money comes in quickly. Well, this is going to be very shortly. Actually, we can sell off some of the uh, numerous items back there. There we go. And Muscles Dispenser. Pop that just for there. There we go. Perfect. All right, let's uh, speed things up a wee bit. Let's get all that done. Excellent. Very nice indeed. Okay, let's pop down some of the decorations now then. Let's go with, yeah, let's get some grasses in there, some kelp over on the back, some sea lettuce as well, and some just little rocks on, I think. Excellent. I think that'll be a very nice little uh, tank. Some really, really nice big fish in there. Now, it's a shame that we can't get any other kinds of lion fish in there, but uh, it's not so bad. Though, that being said, with this being so close to its filtration maximum, mm. I'm afraid we're going to have to let one... Oh, no! Damn it, they moved. Not what I wanted to do, but oh well. Uh, <laughs> damn it. Get you back in there. Now, the reason why I did that is because they're going to grow rather large, actually. And when that happens, it's going to cause me some issues. I do think we're going to need another tank for filtration, honestly. But that wouldn't be too bad in the long run. Now on this side we could go for cold water tanks perhaps. I think that would be kind of a cool idea actually. Uh, we might make a little area for regular benches. Can we get some regular benches down? Sure. Something like that. Plenty of places for our our guests to sit but this is a, this is this is much more of a of a seating area for them. Uh, an actual little congregation. Um, area. Now, this could be just tucked into a 3x3. Three three. We might do that. Just off to the side somewhere. Alternatively, I could also add additional filtration directly to the tank itself. Not sure on that one. We'll have to see. I think, though, the next place that I'm going to want a tank will be over here. We'll just uh, set this area up ahead of time. Get all of that opened up. Now I'm thinking we're going to want a little corner around there so we've got a, a path for our guests to walk, to navigate along. So we'll have just a regular corner tank. And we might have this data chain of filters only affect these five tanks around here. I'm not sure. It depends really on what we're putting into them. But for the time being, I think that would be probably the better option for us. Let's get this expanded out and pull over one of the walls. Yeah. And then let's get these moved in as well. There we go. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Uh, that means that I can move that back a bit. 
A couple of people are a little bit tired, that's fine though. Right, let's get some extra staff in here, especially someone who's particularly good at fixing. Um, yeah, let's get you. Also, feeding and cleaning, I think, would be, would be decent. Get everyone in there. We are going to need a, mo a sponge uh, sink there as well. Now, unfortunately, we only have one tool station, so we'll pop down a second one so that we can get to that straight away. Now, we could have a little area just tucked back over here for, for seating if we wanted to. Maybe even a bin or a drink stand, maybe even a guidebook. And that would give us an op opportunity to get this pump set up over there. Um, possibly hooking these together. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll see, though. It'll, it'll be a bit of a, an interesting expansion one way or other, I think. So we'll drag that back all the way down. There we go. We'll have a little three corridor running around there. I think that would be best to set it in place right now. Now, if we wanted to, we could have this set up along the back here. Something akin to this. Uh, we'll actually sink that back a little bit. We may want to allow this entire wall to be for, for seating of some sort. Um, I don't think that's necessarily a bad idea, actually. We'll drive all of that back then. Right, we've got a mail. Uh, herbivore Habitat. Would you be interested in creating a sponsored exhibit? I'd love to see a display showing herbivores in a natural looking habitat. Build a tank with two different green pellet eaters, uh, two different plants, and sufficient water quality and sufficient heating. Um, yeah, let's do this. I think that's uh, a pretty cool little idea. Uh, that will, that money is gonna go to funding something else right now though, I'm gonna be honest with you. Perhaps I should have told you that before I accepted the funding, but ah, it's just details, details. All right, let's get some of these nice seats up here. There we are. Uh, alternatively, I could just have two seats sunk in there. And then reorient that. And then have uh, some more tanks going down the corner there. Hmm. Yeah, it's not actually a bad idea, in my opinion. Yeah. I think that's a, that's a pretty solid idea, actually. Okay. Well, let's go for the tank, then. Deep wall tank. Just squeezed in there. That'll be excellent. We'll probably have the feeding area, or the access for it, right at the back here. So that if I have a tank on that side, it'll automatically hook up. There we are. And with that, we can just get rid of this. Now, they wanted three different green pallet eaters. Now, uh, there's no particular reason not to use this tank for that. Sure, we can do that. So, what kind of green pallet eaters are we going to go for? Let's actually pause it there. We could go for... We've got a couple. Got three exactly. Red-tailed butterfly fish, the flame angelfish, and the coral beauty. Now, the coral beauty is a wimp, but that's fine. Dislikes con specific cannot be housed with another coral beauty, cannot be housed with another flame angelfish. But the red-tailed butterfly fish is fairly happy with this sort of stuff, so. Alright, well let's get one of each. There we go. And another coral beauty. There we go. Now it isn't at all warm enough, obviously. We'll be working on that one in a moment. And that's already brought us up to five plants needed. Let's make sure that we can accommodate them as is. So let's get that at the front. And we'll get you at the middle there. There we go, that takes us up to six. And we're going to want flame angelfish. I think that should be fine. Uh, none of them will attack other fish, so that's perfect. And they need roughly the same 65 water quality. That's, that's fine, honestly. Do any of them grow? Let me just double check that. I don't believe any of them do. No, so that's actually pretty amazing. Uh, let's just take this all the way up to 36 then. There we are. 
absolutely perfect. Uh, let's get some eel grass at the back there. Maybe some... Another barrel. No, let's not go for a barrel. Let's go for a little treasure chest in there. There we go. That'll be lo lovely. All right, we're going to need the green pellet dispenser. Right about that. And at this point... Well, the way this one can work is I'm going to connect this tank to this one here. We're going to get a brand new um, pump over on this side. Now, do we have enough money? We, we do. We do have enough money, thank goodness. Pop that there. It'll hook between... Ah, wait. That is not actually the way we're, gonna, we're going to want to do it. Unless I use this one to hook these two up. Um, that is certainly an option. And I could have this one hook these two up. All right, let's, uh, let's connect them together at least. There we are. The water quality needs to be improved. But once this one is connected, there we are. Now, let's have a quick look at what kind of heating and water quality we've got. The water quality and the heating is, is, needs to be improved. So let's move all of the skimmers over there and get another heater over on this side. I mean, this is still a very much an experimental way of doing it. But th oh, apparently, there we go. The display is looking great. Here's the rest of the sponsorship money. Hooray, we've got money. This is a great time. All right, let's shunt that over a little bit. Now, this one is currently doing the majority of the... Now we've got all of the... Uh, the skimming happening in the same place. Let's go for just another gigantic filter down here. There we go. All of these tanks running off the same things. That's actually really, really cool. I really like that mechanic. That is a really solid, solid, fun little way of doing it. Uh, this pump really exists just to link these two across, and that, that may be all it ever does, but I have got the option of using it for other things. We're not going to need it for heating. It'll just be for filtration at this point. In fact, let's, uh, let's preempt that and put this in right away. So there we go. So at this point... Water quality should be solid. Yeah, it'll be 79 in all of the tanks. So there we are. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, I could have had them over there, realistically, but uh, no, I think that's that's fine. Okay. Uh, let's unpause and see how things go. Let's uh, remove these away. Now they may be unhappy with the fact that this tank doesn't have anything in it. Um, shush. It's fine. But I'm thinking that we don't necessarily need these, honestly. Let's get rid of them. They're kind of in the way, I think. What we could have instead is the odd uh, bin or vending machine along these, these walks. Because this one probably doesn't reach far enough anymore. So how about we do something like that? Have a little vending machine there, perhaps. Maybe even a chocolate vending machine. Well... We'll leave them as they are for the time being. Once we we get this path a little bit further down, then we'll start considering that. But right now, everything seems to be going well. I'm really liking this uh, this whole design, honestly. Liking that a lot. Right, it's time, though. It is definitely time for us to start considering other paints. I could make the ground sandy. Not super interested in that. And I, I'm not a big fan of that particular design either, so uh, keep that going. Well, the walls, perhaps, can be... Well, those walls, I like the way they are. But, and this little area kind of makes sense to me. However, I definitely am feeling the need to uh, create a little partition, perhaps, over in here. This is definitely a different sort of part of the uh, the general area. Now, if that wasn't quite the way it was, because that there's no obvious partition there. Hmm. That doesn't doesn't work so well, unfortunately. Whereas this is just the better, objectively speaking, of the 
of the paths, in my opinion. I like it. I like it quite a lot. What we could do is, under those benches there, have that little, that little alcove with the uh, different different seating. Hmm. kind of like that idea, actually. Right, let's get the rest of the paint down. We're probably not going to expand out into this side for a little while. But should be okay. We will have a partition of wood just across here. Marking the point where you are in the aquarium proper. There we are. That actually looks quite nice if you ask me. Quite nice. Maybe we could pop down these underneath the uh, benches in particular. Oops. Wrong place. Mm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that one. Let's see about just replacing all of that. Yeah, I think that looks a little bit better than just the wood. Okay. There we are then. Let's get all of that finished off then. And paint it out. I think that makes it look very nice indeed. Wooden walls. Same down there. Actually... No. No, I kind of like the these walls up to the partition. Or maybe that should be the partition then. Uh, you know what? We haven't properly checked out the Pirate Cove walls. Ooh, no. No, 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 no. I don't think so. I don't think that looks... Uh, that looks good for a significant wall, at least. For a significant amount of the... the Walls. I'm not even that sold on the wood paneling, but such a large area. Maybe, maybe the uh, main walls along these paths can be the theater walls, and then this little area is very specifically a, a little waiting area, and so it has very different design. I like that though. I like those walls being slightly different. Okay, for the most part, we're doing all right. We've almost got the guest books. Which is going to be pretty grand for us. Now then, whilst we're looking at this tank, what do we want to put in there, I wonder? Day 8, we've got a couple of new new things. Herbivore Habitat, uh, done it. Happy Herbivores, it's looking great. Uh, this one has grown, that's fantastic. We'll eat fish of size 4. Let's just pa pause this for a moment. An additional space in the tank, leads more and contributes more to lowering the water quality. Same here, same here. Shola's exhibit. Hello, I represent the Hope Foundation. We're interested in sponsoring an exhibit in your aquarium. Something with the f following parameters would be excellent. Different Shola's, uh, sufficient water quality, and sufficient heating. Okay, I think it's a deal. Yes. Interested in some Bartlett Antheas? I have seven of these Bartlett Antheas. Would you like to trade them? I'm interested in the following. A coral grouper, fully grown, and a longhorn co cowfish, fully grown. I'm sure we can do some arrangement here. Yeah. Now, we've only got two shoulders right now. They'll eat the same food, at any rate. I don't believe we have any other... Sh yeah, we have no other shoulders in the aquarium just yet, so that's fine. Plenty of these fish. We don't have a coral grouper yet. Uh, might be quite nice to get it. Um, and you would eat similar food. We could even put you in with the, the Zebra Mori eel. That would actually be quite nice. Yes, because then we'd, we'd have that one ready. So I think we've discovered what we're going to be feeding there. Especially because it will require the same food. So that would work out quite well for us. All right, let's pop you in then. One. Now, that's only got a, a, a full size of 36. This will be up to 9, so we can take it up to 18, for example. But you will grow... Well, you'll also grow to 9, so that's up to 27. We can have two of them. So 36, yeah. I think that would be quite nice, actually. Uh, you don't like actually being in with any other coral group, so we're not going to do that, uh, as it happens now. But we will get two eels in there, I think, and that'll be quite a nice little uh, exhibit. Now, has that affected anything? No. No, it hasn't. It hasn't lowered the quality of any of the other tanks sufficiently. Excellent. And even though it's not necessary, I'm going to pop this in there as well, just so that the eels have another place they can play. And right at the back then, we'll have... 
I have a lettuce at the front and a barrel right at the back, I think. Oh yeah, I think that'll look lovely. I think it'll be absolutely perfect. Right, there we go. Now, when they grow, they'll take up a, a goodly part of the tank, certainly. It'll take up exactly 27, but I could put up an, an, uh, put another eel in there. But I'm not particularly inclined to, honestly. I mean... I guess it would be science points at the end of the day. But it would require more cave. I'd have to swap that one out for a larger cave. Well, no, actually, we have got enough thanks to the little little bit of woods. So, okay, we'll, we'll pop you in there. I think that'll be fine. Yeah, we have got a tank with one type of shoulder, and that's fine for right now. There we go. That should be pretty easy for people to get set up in. We may have some more lavatories down on this side. Maybe even some more refreshments in, in a similar little, little tucked away area back there. I, I think that would be, be ideal for us. I may even, given that, move this along and perhaps have a little staff entrance on this side. In fact, I think that would be uh, a perfect idea. Pop that there. There we go. This way, I'm going to pause it briefly as I just drive this back a little bit. We're going to have just a staff door so my staff can very easily access everything out there there we are we can have some some like refreshments and that sort of thing back here i think that would be pretty pretty solid now uh, the fizzy drinks machine for example and maybe even a chocolate machine around there as well a bin and we could have some areas for for lavatories as well i think that would be fine honestly uh, in fact, I'm going to line this up just slightly differently. I'm going to have the vending machine here. But instead of having the staff door facing that direction, we're going to have it facing in here instead. I think that will make for a nicer uh, a nicer approach, let's say. There we go. Because then it, then it mimics this area a little bit more. And it makes a little bit more sense as we set this up. So we'll pop down chocolate vending machine right there. And of course a bin right there as well. There we are. We could then sink in some lavatories if we want to. I think that's probably wise. Um, uh, we'll see how it goes for now. We probably will. But having some seating over here would also be kind of nice. So... Uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes. We'll see if uh, our guests get get particularly tired. But I think that's where we're going to be wrapping up this episode. I really enjoyed this uh, first episode, especially hooking up and daisy chaining all the tanks. That is, that is something I'm very, very pleased with. I'm not sure that we're going to do many more tanks on this side. We'll have to see on that one, I think. Um, we might even squeeze uh, all those filters around there and then may, maybe have one more... Um, uh, filter there, just hooking these tanks up together. Maybe that one to this one. Right, we'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes. But we've unlocked the gift shop. Fantastic. And next up, I think we're going to go for the double filter. Because this is both filtering and protein skimming, which will be very, very useful. But that is going to be it for this episode. So until next time, and as always, do take care, everyone.